Well, hello everybody. It's definitely starting to feel like winter outside now, so it's comfort food all the way. And what's more comforting than to be curled up with a cup of tea? A lovely biscuit. So today we shall be making chocolate chip cookies. Here are our ingredients. We need 120 grams of softened butter, 75 grams of light brown sugar, and 75 grams of caster sugar. Now you could probably use 150 grams of one of the sugars, but this is my recipe and I'm doing it this way. Um, we need a medium egg, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of baking powder, 180 grams of plain flour, and most importantly, 150 grams of chocolate. Now, I've got shop-bought already chocolate chunks, and I'm using milk chocolate chunks today, whereas I would probably usually use dark chocolate, but they didn't have any. You could also just get a slab of chocolate and cut it up into chunks, or you could use chips as well. It's up to you. But as long as there's 150 grams, we're laughing. We're also going to need uh, a mixing bowl, um, a whisk, and two baking trays lined. Okay. Okay, the first thing you want to do is turn on your oven to 180 degrees. Um, and line both of your trays. Then we're going to cream the sugar and the butter together. Both the sugars in. Okay, I think that's done now. Huh? Um, we want it to be very light and fluffy, so that's pretty light and fluffy. Now, now we want to beat in the egg and the vanilla. So, a teaspoon. Ooh, yum. I love the smell of vanilla. Okay, now they're combined, we're going to add the flour, the baking powder, the chocolate. I'm going to add a little bit of salt as well. You don't have to do this if you've used salted butter, but I haven't. So a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Brings out the flavours. There we go. Okay, we're going to stir this in. Okay, now this is all combined. Just push that off there. It's time to get it in the oven. Okay, now we're going to scoop, hopefully, ten large tablespoons of the mixture onto the baking trays. I think that's about right. Uh, I'm going to leave enough space to allow for spreading. Okay, we're going to bake these now for about 10 to 12 minutes until they're firm on the edges but still soft in the middle. Okay, let's get them in. Exciting! 
Okay, let's have a look to see if they're done. Okay, now then. Firm at the edges and soft in the middle. They look done to me. I did have to leave them in a little bit longer um, than 12 minutes. Um, but yes, they're done. Let's get the others out. Okay, I've transferred them to a wire rack now to cool completely. As you can see, some are lighter than others because they were on different shelves in the oven. Um, to prevent this, you could halfway through maybe um, change them around and it'll probably be more even. They'll still be delicious, don't worry. Well, it smells delicious in here. Uh, I got my cup of tea at the ready, so there's only one more thing left to do. Also, I think it's fair to say that the more you practice now, the more perfect your cookie will be ready for the big man on Christmas Eve. You know what I mean. I'm going in. Mmm. Still warm. That is perfect. Crunchy on the outside and soft in the middle. That's all you want. See you next time.